Hello and welcome to Balance Now Zen and Pow. My name is Stephanie and today we have a power yoga sequence for you. So just a reminder that if you haven't warmed up yet, go back and do one of the vinyasa flow videos um, and your body will be nice and ready and warm for this nice power yoga sequence. So we're going to start at the top of our mat. We have about four different poses today that we're going to flow through on each side. So we'll start with the vinyasa though, just to make our way to our downward facing dog. So hands in prayer, standing nice and tall, pulling shoulder blades back, engaging through the quads, our core is engaged. Let's find our breath, inhaling and exhaling through our nose. One more inhale, and exhale, setting our intention for our practice. Let's inhale the arms up, exhale, release through the center to forward fold. Inhaling to half look, a nice flat back position, hands on the shins, step or jump to high plank. Now from here we can also come to our knees, we're just going to take that chaturanga, keeping the elbows in. We can bring the chest all the way down or scoop it through into upper facing dog, pulling the shoulders back, lifting the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, so we're setting up for our first pose here, but just getting comfortable in down dog, walk the heels, bend the opposite knee if you need. Rock it side to side, just kind of rinse out the spine, the hips, everything, getting comfortable here. Now on our first inhale, we're gonna send our left leg back. Now we can bend the knee and open the hip here if that feels good for us. Try and keep the shoulder square down though. As we exhale, we're gonna bring the knee through the chest, coming into that plank leg position and then step it through. Now I'm gonna show you some options using two blocks if you have those at home, or even like two water bottles, two, something that is similar to a block that you could use that's even. So I'm gonna lift my chest off of the block. So other options, if we're not using blocks, we can stay in this low lunge, or we can bring the forearm stacked on the knee. But notice how I'm lifting my chest, pulling my shoulders back. So I'm not just, I'm not just collapsing into my front knee here. I'm lifting and extending that spine, coming forward. Now I'm going to show you some other options. Now we can stay here, hands on the blocks. Notice my front knee is right over my ankle, so all that power is in that front leg. All right, so I can stay here. I could bring my forearms. I can bring my hands in prayer, or I can reach my arms out. Again, drawing the shoulders back. Engaging the core, lifting the chest. Stay here and breathe in and out through the nose. As we hold this powerful pose. From here, we're gonna come into a standing split. All right, two options. Hands on the blocks as we send the leg back, or hands down, release the head and neck. If either your hands on the block or hands down, try and release that head and neck. Send that right leg back as high as you can. We're gonna move from here into half moon. Now we already have a block that we can bring underneath the left arm if we'd like. Coming up slowly, place the right hand on the hip. We're flexing this leg and foot. All right, engaging the core. Now I can stay here. I can bring this arm up to the sky. I could reach for my back foot. I could also do any of these with my hand on the ground, reach for the back foot, or I can release that left hand. Even more challenging, I have to find my dristi and I have to find my breath. We're going to release into warrior two, stepping that foot back, setting it up, arms come out. Lots of work for that left leg here. wherever we are. Let's inhale to reverse warrior. We can straighten the front leg if we'd like. And the same thing on the other side. Exhale, bring it down. Step it back. Take that chaturanga. Inhale it up. Exhale to down dog. So you stay in down dog here. I'm just going to switch sides so that you can see me on the other side. If I want to use my blocks. So we're in downward facing dog, walking it out. Good. Now we're going to send that right leg back. We can either square the hip 
or bend the knee and open it up. Oh, that feels so good. Exhale, bring the knee through the chest. Step it through. Now, find that position, either fingertips down, still lifting the chest. We can bring the hands under the block. Again, lifting the chest off. We can bring the forearms stacked on that front knee, making sure the knee's over the ankle. Wherever you choose, find this position first. And then we can take it even further, either hands in prayer, extend it out, pulling the shoulders back, breathe into it. This is a huge pose for that leg and glute, engaging the core, we have to breathe. In and out through the nose. We're gonna come into that standing split, either using the blocks again, sending that leg back, or we can release the blocks, bring the fingertips down, release the head and neck, send that leg as high as you can. Just release the head and neck, let it fall to the mat. Moving into our half moon again, we can use the block. So let's start very simple, make sure it's right underneath the shoulder, flexing the leg and foot. We wanna lift the chest, either hand on the hip, or hand up, find that focal point. This is a balance pose. And grab for that back foot. We can release our hand to the ground. And do any of those again, or we can lift it up. Taking any position you'd like, engage in the core. One more inhale as we exhale, step it back. Set up for warrior two. Looking down those front fingers. Hips and shoulders nice and stacked. Front knee either over the ankle or behind. Making sure we have that nice heel to heel or heel to arch line in between the feet. In and how to reverse. Exhale, take that vinyasa, bring it all the way down. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. And bringing the knees down, find a child's pose here. And just release. Nice work today. I hope you enjoy these fun uh, power pose sequences. And have a great day. Namaste.